Uh, let's talk about uh, different kinds of wind reading equipment. Uh, I currently own just a basic Kestrel. Uh, it works great. Uh, you know, it does everything I've needed it to. It comes in a nice little carry case. Uh, just straight anemometer. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it just gives me a min uh, av or a max average, uh, you know, and then I can just put up the standard wind. And, uh, you know, that's cool. Uh, it does, I mean, let's be honest, for what I do, that's probably, um, you know, been a good option. But talk to the guys at Kestrel, and they offered to send me a 5700 Elite. And, uh, you know, how do I say no to that? Uh, I love my 1000 and thought, well, you know, how can I pass up a chance to see what a 5700 Elite with the link and the applied ballistics and everything else tied into it, um, you know, what would that do to my world? And I have to tell you, I've been playing with it for about three weeks now. I still am not through all of the features on it. I'm through most of them. And um, I mean, this thing does everything. So what I'm gonna do, it's way too much to put into one video. So I'm just gonna do a really basic overview of what the Elite can do. And then we'll do some additional videos that show you setting up target and range cards and uh, you know a few other things, the app, uh, which it has, which is awesome. And um, the app is great because it lets you not have to fiddle around with the buttons if you're entering in a bunch of range cards, tar you know, target card type stuff, gun data. Um, it's really nice and then you just poof, upload it right to the unit. Uh, so that's what the link feature that you see here. So uh, anyway, I think it's well worth the hundred bucks that they charge for it. Uh, in any event, let's just go over some of the basic overviews on here. And uh, the first thing being, it comes with a little cinch sack, which is actually thicker. It's a little bit thicker material. It works great. Uh, the impeller has a nice uh, just flip open uh, protector on it. It's really all you need. And uh, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, as far as the, the control layout goes, you know, it's got sort of like an old iPod type setup. Left, right, up, down, enter. Uh, my wife jokes that this is an Ikea phone, and uh, believe it or not, it actually has Snake, the game that my old Nokia has built right into it. Little Easter egg. I'm not sure people even know it exists in there. Um, I'll show you uh, uh, a little bit later. Uh, in any event, uh, you know, form-wise, form, form -wise, Kestrel always nails it. Never too big, never too small, easy to use. The controls... Um, I've actually played with it uh, in bed uh, with hardly any lights on. It's backlit. Uh, the controls are all very, very intuitive. Uh, and I've had no problems uh, running through everything that it does uh, with just a dimly uh, set backlight uh, on it. And it does have two different backlight features. One for if you're wearing IR goggles, uh, night vision, uh, and the other for just standard backlit. So anyway, I mean, it's it's one of those things where, I mean, you could spend 20 minutes talking about the features. So let's just go a basic overview. This little um, settings button is going to take you to what is sort of a home screen. The biggest thing is mode. So you have mode, there's ballistics, easy, and weather. So weather is going to be just straight uh, what you want to see for weather, uh, direction, wind speed, crosswind, headwind, temperature, um, you know, chill, humidity, heat index, dew point, wet bulb, pressure, barometer, altitude, density, altitude. And then there's, you know, these little um, three on one screens that go through all of that same data. So if nothing else, if you're just at the range and you're not really looking for uh, firing solutions or anything like that, lots of just basic weather data that's really great to have easily accessible because let's face it not you know not every time you're at the range are you coming up with a bunch of different firing solutions and stuff so uh, sometimes just knowing what the wind's doing and the weather uh, is all you need now if i go back to mode i can go into the easy mode uh, that is just as it says it's an easy mode uh, it lets you come in and put at a target range you can do target setup which is going to let you do a compass calculation and a wind calculation uh, you can set a profile and a couple other um uh, settings here. Uh, but you know, everything in here is going to let you do a very simple, uh, ballistic, uh, calculation that is going to give you your, uh, come up and your wind. And it works great. Uh, you don't have to know anything else. It walks you through the process. Again, 
I'll do a video on um, that whole thing. Uh, but the easy mode is exactly what it says. It's easy. I don't have to think too hard. I don't have to know too much. And it, I feel like even without having to know anything, it's going to put you ahead in terms of knowing your come-ups and your windage very quickly and very accurately. Now, ultimately, if you're buying this, you're probably buying it because of all the ballistic software. Um, you know, on my phone, I've got four, I don't even know, four or five, six different ballistic apps, Straylock and Shooter and uh, uh, Applied Ballistics, Lapua. I've got a bunch in there. Uh, this essentially uses the Applied Ballistics app inside of the Kestrel, which is pretty cool. Uh, so if I go into Ballistics, now it's going to give me a much more full-featured um, set of inputs. If you can think of a variable that's going to affect your shooting, you can probably enter it in here. You can create range cards, target cards. Uh, again, I'll go through it in another video, but you can set up to 10 different targets. You can uh, advance uh, in advance, put in your direction of fire and wind speeds, wind one, wind two, I mean, all kinds of stuff, and then upload it from your app right into the Kestrel, or you can enter it on the Kestrel. So it's a ton of features that give you very, very accurate uh, firing solutions. And for guys that are doing a lot of different ranged uh, shooting that is changing all the time and changing conditions, uh, you know, i I can't really speak to it, but I'm sure on a military side, this is everything that you would need um, to come up with a, a calculated firing solution to work off of for PRS or anything like that. Absolutely gives you everything you need. And even for F class where, you know, I'm dealing with the same range every time it's either 600 or eight or nine or a thousand. Um, I pretty much can dial my, my come ups in the dark and, um, you know, but, but here's where I really did enjoy using this. Um, think of matches where I, I shoot at ranges. Uh, there's one particular range I shoot at where the winds can literally on any given day be 25, 30 miles an hour coming from a couple different directions at any given time. That's challenging. And there are, uh, Palma relays where, you know, at 900 or a thousand, you get two ciders. That's it. Uh, you know, so it's really important that you're on target with that first cider, especially in challenging conditions. And I mean, we're dealing with conditions where I'm putting, you know, five, six, seven minutes in the gun, holding another couple minutes left and hopefully hitting a wide eight or nine, uh, you know, if I've done my work correctly. Well, this really helps narrow down that window. Uh, it gives you very accurate conditions. It's going to show you headwinds. It's going to show you crosswinds. It's going to show you your averages, what your current wind is. And all of that helps create a solution that is going to be uh, far more accurate than, you know, licking your finger and sticking it in the air uh, or even looking at a couple of wind flags. And, and so I think even for an F-class solution, uh, this gives you a lot of confidence up front. So those are going to be the three main modes. Now, there's obviously a Bluetooth uh, option because this is the link mode. And, uh, you know, it uses up a lot more battery over time if you're going to leave the link on. If you're just out in the field or at the range and you're not tied to your phone at that point, I would turn it off to help preserve battery. Uh, the backlight is obviously going to give you uh, less battery life as well. It does automatically power off. You've noticed that I keep turning it on so you can see it once in a while. Uh, and then if I hold it down, it actually changes, uh, it's going to change it to a different, uh, backlight, which you won't be able to see. Um, but it's sort of a red backlight and it works very well for its intended purpose and which is the night vision. And you've got a data port so you can directly con uh, connect to a computer. Uh, it does have this optical data port, which then connects to a computer. It does not come with the cable, but you can get it. There's different memory options, graph scales, display, system options, all kinds of stuff. And then like promised, if you go into about, uh, there's your, your, what version Kestrel is it, what legal, and then this little Easter egg they put in there, which is actually snake literally off of, uh, a Nokia phone, a uh, high score difficulty and then new game. And I can, uh, maneuver with my arrow buttons and you probably can't see it great, but you know, I am playing the game as we speak here. Let me try turning on the light. Uh, you know, I guess if you're out in the field and, you know, you're waiting for an elk or a deer or the next relay or whatever it is, 
you know, I guess it doesn't hurt to have something that helps pass the time. So I think that's really a cool little Easter egg that they hid inside of uh, this thing. So, you know, there's a, there's a good overview for you. I really, you know, can't say too much else about it on an overview standpoint because that's what it does. Now, wait till I show you a couple of the other videos that really show you how to set up the easy mode and the ballistics mode. And then I think you're really going to say, wow. Um, but this is a, a really neat unit. It really does a lot of, of high powered things very easily. And I think if you're looking for an all-in-one solution, this is going to be very hard to beat.